Aries, it is the Sun Sage. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, this is a November reading, a love reading for those of you who are Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, and those of you who are cross watchers connected to an Aries. So, you guys, this is your love update to see what's going on for you and what's coming in for you, all right, in love. So, I want to see what's currently going on in your love life right now. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, Arising. Let me <laughs> let me situate this, but this could tell us a bit of your story here. I have the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the Emperor showing up. Okay, so this this Emperor, you know, is your energy. So I'm not going to keep these messages, but I feel like they wanted to be seen for a reason. I have judgment at the bottom of the deck, so I feel like you guys. Um, are having an awakening in your life right now regarding a relationship. It is something that is a turning point in your life and you're having to make a big decision about it. So I feel like three of pentacles, five of swords, emperor, something that was working for you at one point feels like it's no longer working and you're ready to take control of your life and take a different direction. That's for someone, but we will see. Okay, so what's going on for Aries currently in love? I have the tower, yeah, confirming that there's some sort of shakeup in your in your romance right now, in your love life. The Ace of Swords, that would be that breakthrough. Very powerful breakthrough. Five of Swords actually comes out. Um, The Hangman, you have learned the truth about someone. This was shocking information, okay? You have learned some shocking information about the person you were connected to, tied to. This could be uh, Scorpio energy. This could be Pisces, all right? Gemini, Libra, all right? What's coming in for Aries in love, all right? We have Nine of Wands, all right? For what's coming in for you, we have the Nine of Swords here. Yeah, what else do we have coming in for Aries in love? The Knight of Cups, Pisces energy again. And the Three of Swords, okay. Um, I kind of see where this is going. I am going to let the story sort of play out. I'm going to pick an energy for you, Aries, to see who you are right now in love. Like, what's your mindset? What's your energy in love right now? Who is Aries? You are the Queen of Swords, yeah. Um, I feel like you're pretty much done with something. You just haven't really said it yet. What's um your person's energy? The three of pentacles. Okay. So you have somebody that's been trying or wanting to work things out with you. King of swords at the bottom of the deck. Aries, I mean, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy showing up. I feel like you don't want to work it out anymore. I feel like this person is constantly trying to come up with solutions and things to make it work. It feels like they don't want to, you know, let this go. They're always trying to compromise. But I feel like there's something that's come out about this person with that tower and that ace of swords. Why is this tower here for Aries? Why is this tower here for Aries and love? What's going on? Um, the hangman again. Okay. You may have learned some shocking news about your Pisces. All right. If your person is in a Pisces, this can still resonate for you. There could have been a big revelation coming through that's made you have second thoughts, seeing this person from a different perspective, um, seeing this person in a different light and, and feeling like, um, this, this information has revealed something about them that while it may have been unpleasant finding out, it feels like the truth. It feels like you're accepting this truth about that person um the ace of swords what is this about the chariot okay some of you are finding out your person um has been living a double life okay i feel like somebody's person here could be connected to a cancer and they may have been you know dallying with somebody um on the low your person is the three of pentacles, right? So that's that third party energy. We also have your reading ending in a three of swords, Aries. So your person may have been trying to keep a connection at work on the low. They could be dealing with somebody um, not as deeply as they're dealing with you, but it does feel like this has been taking place somehow behind your back, all right? It, it feels like this the truth has come out about this and it may even have been the person um, who they're dealing with who has told you this information. Yeah, this feels like another woman, another man, somebody else in the relationship with the high priestess that was keeping a low profile. And now you found out about them. So there's some big shocking revelation about 
your lover. And that's why you're taking on this Queen of Swords energy. That's it. You got to go. I'm done, right? Um, You may have investigated, okay? Some of you may have searched, you know, um, so social media to find information. Some of you may have looked through a phone, but I feel like this information has come to you and you found out this person was betraying you. Okay. With the five of swords. Why is this here? This feels like somebody who works with somebody, maybe a trucking company, um, a transportation, a plane, um, six of pentacles here. Yeah. This person was betraying you. Um, acting like they, this, you know, what they were giving you was their all and they were really giving their, their all quote unquote all to someone else too. This is a specific reading that won't resonate for every Aries. If you are married happily, if you are in a happy relationship, this feels like it may not be your relationship, but it could be because this person over here looks like they've been trying to hold things together, right? And keep you thinking that everything was fine and everything was secure in this three of pentacles energy while there is some betrayal going on. The Six of Pentacles feels like they were giving to you. They were giving to others. They may have even helped out um, somebody that they're connected to, like um, a third party. They may have even helped a third party out financially and didn't tell you. Okay, somehow this benefits that person, your person, that somehow them helping someone benefits them. Like it could have been um, somebody is trying to blackmail them with the five of swords. If you don't help me off financially, if you don't do this, if you don't do that, I'm going to tell Aries that we're dealing with each other. And so that's why I feel like specifically if it's a water sign person, a Pisces, a Cancer, they may have been helpful in you finding out the truth about what's going on with a romantic partner. Um, this hangman energy is telling me that you've seen your person um, from a different perspective. And I feel like you're done. Okay, that Queen of Swords feels done. Ace of Swords, yeah, this revelation has really changed your mind about this person. Something you've learned about them, something you've discovered. Um, it really has you looking at this person differently and not seeing them um, how you used to. I feel like you used to revere this person and respect them. And now, um, navel, I'm sorry, Knight of Swords energy here. Now it's like this person is drama. I have a Libra here. I have somebody who is going back and forth, um, telling you one thing, doing another. So I do feel like you're dealing with somebody who has some third party sort of ties, right? They feel committed to you. They feel like they want to fix things and work on things with you, but they also have that energy with somebody else, right? Like they don't want it also, they, like they also don't want to get rid of someone else that they're dealing with. So the nine of wands, this feels like stay away from me. Don't call me anymore. Protecting yourself and your energy, right? You have to stand up for yourself against this person, um, the seven of cups. Some of you don't know what to make of this romantic partner, right? You feel like you, you thought you knew them. And then this information that has recently come out, whatever was revealed Aries, it's like, I don't know you at all. So a lot of you feel very confused. Okay. And the best way to protect yourself is to be in this energy, this queen of swords vibe, um, to sort of, until I know the full facts about everything, the truth about everything, until I get more information, you and I cannot, right? So I feel like a lot of you are ending something with somebody or you're definitely putting them on ice because this seven of cups is like they're confusing you with their behavior they had you thinking one thing they were doing something else something may have been exposed on social media with the six of wands here a picture may have been posted that tipped you off you were very investigative and i feel like you got the information that you needed about this person playing games with you in that five of swords six of pentacles energy why is this nine of swords here for aries for what's coming in this is what's coming in um <clears throat> this person is is not wanting to lose you so they're gonna do what they can to try to fix it whether that like they may suggest therapy they may suggest counseling or something for you guys but i feel like um what's coming in for you nine of swords you're debating leaving this person What's this nine of swords, the fool? You've been thinking about starting over for a very long time. You've been keeping it to yourself. Um, I feel like you didn't want to hurt this person. Um, and it feels like they've done something that kind of makes it like 
clears the, 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 the space for you to do what you need to do for yourself, right? If you were on the fence about staying or going, it feels like something comes out or something has come out that makes it easier for you to make a decision in the future. Because I feel like you've been wanting a fresh start for a very long time, Aries. I've even picked that up in your readings. You've been wanting to disconnect from a relationship that feels like it's stifling you. And it feels like this person has just given you the out, okay, with their behavior. Why is this Knight of Cups here for what's coming in? It feels like an apology from your lover. I'm sorry I won't do this again because it's the Knight of Cups with the Three of Swords. Okay, so this person, um, for a lot of you, will be acknowledging that they made a, a wrong um, move here by betraying you. The Emperor, yeah. They're apologizing to you, bowing down to you, wanting you to forgive them here. I feel like this person, if you're walking away, look at this emperor with the back turn. They're going to want to chase after you. So this person definitely doesn't want to lose you, but I feel like they've already shown their hand, right? That's why the, the hangman is here twice. I feel like this person has revealed something about themselves that has you looking at them from a different perspective. You're not the same person I met. You're not the same person that told me they love me. You're not the same person. Person that proposed to me that met my family this person is totally different and I feel like you guys are taking control in this situation to leave you saw we had that emperor in the beginning right so that came out for a reason this eight of cups here at the bottom of the deck you are done you are absolutely done with this person you were giving them a chance I feel like you're in a relationship that feels a little passionless for some of you if this isn't your story then that's wonderful. But I do feel like there's someone here who's in a passionless relationship or they're dealing with somebody who doesn't spark their interest or do the things they used to do. It's not exciting anymore. And you've actually been being very kind by not leaving this person high and dry by trying to give it time to, you know, see if anything changes, anything shifts. I feel like you have your answer. Right. Whatever you've been waiting for, whatever sign you've been waiting for, I feel like you got it. There's something big that came through, possibly in Scorpio season, the beginning. And we're still there, you know, in Scorpio season. So something is coming out, filtering out. And I feel like it's all the information you need to pull away from this Knight of Cups person, possibly water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Three of Swords. Um, this is going to be a rough breakup, rough separation for those of you who this applies to. It's, it's, yeah, two of swords. It's going to be really rough. Um, nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is what you all were trying to avoid, right? Having to, to leave this person who I do feel loves you, but, um, has made some mistakes here. And I feel like this three of swords, two of swords is, um, actually, I feel like the other, you, you both may be heartbroken, but I feel like you actually are the one who breaks up with someone. Okay. This is the energy that's coming in. So for those of you that are still connected, you're still in your decision making phase. I do feel like what's coming in is more of you are leaning towards leaving the connection altogether and doing what's best for yourself, right? Blocking this person, two of swords. Um, <sighs> It just feels like the more information comes out about them, the more you learn about them, the more you see them for who they truly are, the more that's revealed. It feels like you want no parts of it. And I feel like this person, um, they've tried everything. I feel like they've peaked when it comes to you. There's not really a lot more there. So um, the fact that we have this King of Swords, okay, this King of Swords here at the bottom of the deck and this uh, Queen of Swords here, that's like a, a, a separated couple anyway. That's like a divorced couple, um, two people who are very um, fed up, <laughs> okay, when it comes to like the, the relationship dynamic of it. You're both pretty clear. So I feel like there could be an argument for some of you, not for all of you. I'm not feeling like you depart this in a, in a quiet way though. I feel like you make your voice heard. Okay. You raise your voice a little bit. You let this person know, um, that betraying you was the wrong move. All right. You speak up for yourself for sure. Um, what do we have from the messages from the mermaids for Aries? 
magic, okay? Which is interesting because, yeah, you had a magician at the bottom of the deck here. So um, <laughs> some of you may, you know, if you're inclined to witchcraft and those things, some of you may have used a truth spell, okay? Some of you may have dipped into that and found your information that way. Um, others of you are definitely tapping into your power. You are allowing yourself to be free from this person, taking control of your life. Um, some of you... You know, you did the family thing with this person, the couple thing. You wanted to be faithful. You wanted to be true to them. And it feels like you're making a decision here to, even though it can hurt you, even though, you know, it puts you in a situation where you may have to start all over, it feels like you guys are definitely making that decision for yourself. You have what it takes to rebuild your life, okay? Um, you have what it takes to start over. All right. So that is what I have for you, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading with me, make sure you check out the details in the description box.